The Soybean School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Cruiser Max Vibrance, High Stick NT, and the Manitoba Pulse Grow. I'm Lindsay Smith with RealAgriculture.com. I'm joined by John Hurd, soil specialist with Mafford. Let's talk about phosphorus and soybeans. So one of these days we're actually going to get seeding and or planting. And it's a relatively new crop for a lot of farmers. Questions always come up. How much phosphorus can you put down with seed? How do you manage your phosphorus? All those sorts of things. So what words of wisdom do you have for us? Well, I guess one of the things that we're, we're learning through our observations of others is that phosphorus is very important for soybeans, but not necessarily in that soybean crop year, the, uh, uh, the application or response to phosphorus fertilizer. And uh, there's been a number of studies done, some recently by Manitoba, uh, with Ag Canada and uh, University of Manitoba, and finding that the crop isn't very responsive apparently to applied phosphorus, but we're seeing that it's removing a lot of phosphorus, and so our strategy really should be phosphorus management in the rotation, probably of much greater importance than actual phosphorus in that soybean year. So soybeans, um, you know, big user of phosphorus, so should we be uh, managing phosphorus the year before, two years before, how should a farmer be sort of planning their phosphorus applications for soybeans? Well, we see it's, it's an entire rotational aspect. The focus, the, the, the focus that's in vogue right now is looking at soybeans, but we have to remember canola is the other crop that removes more phosphorus than we can generally apply safely with the seed. So there's a number of approaches that we see in order to, if you want to meet the demands of that crop within season, uh, there are ways, as long as we don't put it all with the seed, there are side banding options, uh, but one of the ones that might be, fit best with people is to build in those crops where we have tolerance to seed placement, such as cereals, and then you tend to coast more in those crops that are sensitive to the seed placed. And now, um, would it make a difference, when we talk seed place safety, is there a difference between uh, a seeder and a planter? Is it all about seedbed utilization? It's seedbed utilization, meaning that with a planter, if you're in 30 inch rows, you've got uh, two times the concentration that you would have if you were in 15 inch rows. Uh, but I, I think farmers are well tuned in as to those risk factors. Uh, so seed placement with the price of soybean seed and canola seed, uh, we just think that there's, there's better places that we, we should be uh, putting up. Canola can tolerate seed placed phosphorus and in fact it can be quite important, but soybeans are, are less tolerant. Okay, and so when we're talking the year before or a few years before, um, phosphorus is one of these ones, it's not easily lost necessarily if we're putting it in there. So, you know, should farmers really be recognizing this is the investment for the year before and two years later? Yes, uh, that's exactly the way we look at it, is that it's an investment of being in, uh, in the game of playing some, uh, growing some of these, these other crops. Uh, soybeans have tremendous ability to remove phosphorus from soil. A few of the things, that they're mycorrhizal, so they, they can tap in with the fungi to access phosphorus. They're a long season crop and they don't get going too early. So when they're starting to access phosphorus, the soils are warm and, and uh, that allows better root growth and also better access to phosphorus. And they just live a lot longer than others. They, they've only taken up half their phosphorus by the time we're into uh, 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 maturity stage of wheat and canola. So they are extracting phosphorus for a much longer part of the season. So they're very good at accessing soil phosphorus, but we need to make sure that there's soil phosphorus there. And that's generally one good strategy of doing that is through managing your supplies through the rotation. 